peace, O oh Lord, to those who wait for you. Hear the prayers of your servants and guide us in the way of justice. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each one of you. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. You know, I love saying that every day God has two lists. Very true, two lists. He has a wake up list and a dead list. You see, someone last night went to bed and they didn't wake. Hello, because they were on the dead list. But we, thank God, are on the wake up list. And so let us not take today for granted, because many went to bed last night and didn't wake. So we thank God. Thank God for the gift of a second chance. Don't know for you, but for me, had I died yesterday, I don't know if I would have gone to heaven. I don't know that. Had I died yesterday, I don't know I would have gone to purgatory. I don't know that. Had I died yesterday, I don't know that I would have gone to hell. I don't know that. What I do know is today, God has given me another chance. Hello. And so every today is another chance. Let us embrace today as another chance of God's glory. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have revealed that peacemakers are to be called your children, grant, we pray, that we may work without ceasing to establish that justice which alone ensures true and lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I could not talk to you as spiritual people, but as fleshly people, as infants in Christ. I fed you milk, not solid food, because you were unable to take it. Indeed, you are still not able, even now, for you are still of the flesh. While there is jealousy and rivalry among you, are you not of the flesh and walking according to the manner of man? Whenever someone says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos, are you not merely men? What is Apollos, after all, and what is Paul? Ministers through whom you became believers, just as the Lord assigned each one. I planted, Apollos watered, but God caused the growth. Therefore, neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything but only God who causes the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive wages in proportion to his labor. For we are God's co-workers. You are God's field, God's building. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down, he sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. From his fixed throne he beholds all who dwell on the earth. He who fashioned the heart of each, he who knows all their works. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice, in his holy name we trust. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and so they interceded to him on her behalf. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. And demons also came, and they began shouting, You are the Son of God! But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak. Why? Because they knew he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went into a deserted place. The crowds were looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent, to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, to the other tongues also, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Uh, John chapter 1 verse 1 says to us, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word became flesh, and the Word dwelt among us. So we know that Jesus is God. Jesus is the self-revelation of the Father. Jesus reveals to us who God is. See, there was a time when God seemed to be far, and God seemed to be very vindictive, and God seemed to be very revengeful. So God needed us to know that that's not who I am. God needed us to know that I am a God who forgives. I'm a God who heals. I'm a God who gives a second chance. Amen? I spoke about a second chance this morning. And then so Christ came to tell us the kind of God that we have. First John 4, 16 tells us that God is love. So we must know, friends, that our God is a lover. God is love. God is love. And love does not take pleasure in the death of the wicked. It doesn't. Love does not take pleasure in sins. It doesn't. Love seeks to forgive and to start afresh. So two points I want to make. Introduction. So, the two things we say as Catholics when we go to confession. The first thing we say is, Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. No? Excuse me. Are they Catholics? <laughs> Hello, Catholics. <laughs> I'm wondering, right? We say, Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. What is the second thing we see? Exactly, it has been two months, one month, or whatever, my last confession. Why do we say that? I would ask you. You don't seem to be Catholic. So why do we say that as Catholics? My last confession was. You know why we say that? Well, because at your last confession, everything was forgiven and God gave you a fresh start. So at every confession, friends, you go to you, you are returned, you are returned to your baptismal state. Hello? So every confession gives you a fresh start. And so your life begins, not six years ago, 20 years ago, it begins from your last confession, your new life. That's God. Hello? Is somebody with me? And so, yes. So every confession, we get a fresh start. We get a new starting point. And that is why you say, my last confession was... Because that's my new starting point. Is somebody with me? And we need to know that. We need to know confession gives us a fresh start. It does. That's why the church says, you say my last confession was, because that's my fresh start. If I'm living here, and I'm going to Franklin, okay, from the, 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 the temple, the, the school, right? so I live here, I'm going to temple, and I take a rest, and I pause, what do I do? I get up and I start from there and I continue. No, I don't come back here and start again. I take it from where I've stopped. Are you with me? Well, that's confession. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> that's confession. But when we go to confession, God gives us a fresh starting point, a fresh start. Yes. Fresh start. And so don't talk about, oh, bless you, Father, for I have sinned, and Father, the sins of my youth. You don't have that. 
You don't have that anymore. That doesn't exist. Because you've gotten a new starting point. The book of Hebrews. I won't ask you to look for your Bibles because you're Catholics. Hebrews 8.10 says, I will forgive their sins. Hebrews 8.12. I will forgive their sins and will remember them no more. Hello. How's the God we have? When God forgives, he forgets. Wow. And thank God for God. Thank God that God does not remember all the sins I did as a young man. I'll be in trouble. Mm. But when God forgives, he forgets. The second point, because of time, the second point I want to make for you this morning is that, um, that, that, that God also heals. So not only God does God forgive us spiritually and renew us spiritually, but God also heals us physically. He sure does. The word of God says he's the same God yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He's the same God. Friends, our God does still heal. He still does. But you must expect it. Like today's gospel. They went expecting. And what happened? He healed. <laughs> he healed. He did not tell them. Friends, God wants to heal us spiritually and physically. As Catholics, we only want spiritual healing. That's not true. We should want physical healing. John 10, 10, he says, I want, he wants us to have life and have it in its abundance. Sickness does not give us abundant life. It takes away life. God wants us to have health and, and wholesomeness. So yes, ask God not just to forgive your sins, but ask him to heal you. Ask him to heal your brokenness, your broken marriage. Ask him to touch your children. Expect him to do it. Expect him to touch your children. Expect him to touch your husband. Expect him to touch your wife. That's the God we have for us, a God who can do anything and everything. We shall continue tomorrow. Let us rise. Let us pray, friends, for the grace to believe. To believe that not only does God forgive us our sins and give us a fresh start, but he also does heal us. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our Holy Father, who is responsibility is to safeguard the truth and to perpetuate and honor the with the truth that God would give him the grace of wisdom and holiness and humility to preserve and to preach the truth in and out of season. Pray for, also for all bishops and for all of us priests. We pray to the Lord. Lord that God will deliver us in this time of pandemic. That God who is Lord will grant us the grace of victory over this uh, disease and sickness. We pray to the Lord. For our children, our loved ones, for those who are dear to us and good to us, for those who have asked us to pray for them, those we have promised to pray for, and all those we ought to pray for, let us ask God's blessing upon them today. We pray to the Lord. For the conversion of sinners and the spread of the Catholic faith throughout the world, we pray to the Lord. For enemies of our church, for those who have given up the faith, for those who no longer practice the faith, for Catholics who are indifferent and lukewarm, and God will bring them back and set them on fire. We pray to the Lord. Lord For those of us who are trying, that God will give us the grace to persevere to the end. We pray to the Lord. Lord For all the holy souls in purgatory, we pray today especially for the souls of George Vaki and Lucia Riz. For them, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for all your personal intentions that you've brought this morning in silence, bring them to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord Good and gracious Father, we are thankful for the second chance that you've given us. We know that you've heard our prayers, but we ask in humility that you'd answer them all. For we've asked through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become a spiritual drink. Rise and pray, sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father of the Almighty. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it be accomplished in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. You have no need of our praise, yet our desire to thank you is itself your gift. Our proud thanksgiving adds nothing to your greatness, but makes us grow in your grace through Christ our Lord. In our joy we sing to your glory, as without end we acclaim Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the funds of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, George Banqui and Lucia Riz, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that they, who are united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Mark, our patron saint, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb, behold Him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. He who believes in me, even though he dies, he will live. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. The Master ended our day begins. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Stop lying, Lord. Thank you, 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 Lord. Thank you.